Welcome to my review guide for my CEH V9 questions. Here we're doing our 26th through 30th question. Again, these are just short. You know, make sure you understand these key concepts because they were on the concepts were on my exam, not the current specific material, but the concept. All right. So, if ICMP is not responding, what type of tool can you use? Uh, to craft it so that you can get a response. Tools like HPing, Scapping, those will help uh, let you. You'll notice that CEH uh, training material focuses a lot on HPing. So make sure you understand what HPing does and kind of how it works. Uh, this is always a fun one. If you have a private IP address and you try to go out to the internet, what happens? Well, a private IP address has to route to a some type of device that will allow it to NAT to a public IP because public IP addresses are what is allowed on the internet. Private IPs are not. So something like a, a default gateway, that would be your router, make sure you understand that that router is performing NAT but if you don't have that default gateway it doesn't know how to leave your LAN, your local area network so it doesn't know how to get to the other networks for example the internet alright so let's assume you were testing a public application and you came across the vulnerability what should you do? Honestly, within the CEH material, they push very heavily on only do this on networks or systems that you have permission. But this one kind of didn't say you had permission. So ethically, what should you do? Morally, what should you do? If you find a vulnerability on a public site, you should notify the owner. You should say, hey, you know, I was testing and I found this. For example, I have tested resources at our college's website without permission. I just, I was trying to do a quick lab. I said, hey, the school's website should be secure. Let's see if we can do this. And lo and behold, we found a huge vulnerability. First thing that I did was I notified the school. Yes, I knew I was going to get in trouble because I was doing it without permission, but morally you're obligated to let the owner know that you found a vulnerability. So if you ever have a question that you were playing around at the public site and you found a vulnerability, what should you do? Contact the site's owner is the correct response. Alright, so when you're engaging in a penetration test, understand these three items. Scope is kind of the scope, like what, what is your mission, what is your goal, what is your scope of this project, one. Two, NDA is a non-disclosure agreement, basically stating whatever you find, you will not disclose to anyone. And lastly is this rules of engagement, what are you allowed to do? What systems are you allowed to attack? That's part of the rules of engagement. So if you get an exam question that's uh, you are penetrating a website and you came across a vulnerability and you weren't sure if you could exploit it or not, what type of document would you check with? That'd be rules of engagement. All right, last question. You must know the, uh, the steps for incident handling. Understand preparation, identification, containment, eradication, recovery, and lessons learned. Preparation, that's prep. Uh, that's like creating the formal response capabilities. Identification is where you determine the incident has uh, occurred. Containment is responding to the incident and limiting the damage. Eradication could be successful containment 
and removal. Recovery is getting everything back in production, and lessons learned are lessons learned. So, um, you have a incident that uh, occurred, and you start packing up the computer. What stage? Well, that's going to be containment. You have a meeting with a manager, and the manager says, we need to create formal documentation so we can actually implement incident response. What stage is that? Well, that's going to be the preparation. You have another example would be, you're not sure if an incident occurred, and you start doing research. What stage is that? That's going to be identification. You have to know these guys, especially containment, because you will get a few questions on incident response. All right, that's actually it for this week. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and thank you.